Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn about the defect life cycle in Jira. So as you know that there are some default workflow or life cycle provided in Jira, which can be utilized for different issue types. So for example, your story and task and subtask might follow a different process from start to finish as compared to defect. So for example, defect life cycle would be completely different from story or task. So to cater for that, Jira provides option of different workflows that can be assigned to different issue types. So as of default configuration in Jira, there are, there is, there are multiple workflows and the closest one for the defect tracking is the Jira workflow. So to check what workflow is assigned for the defect, just open any defect and click on the workflow. So you see Jira simplified workflow is being assigned for the defect type. If you see any other issue type, so go to the test issue type, you will see the agile simplified workflow, software simplified workflow is assigned to the test issue type. So go back to the issues and select any bug and click on the workflow. So now this workflow is the closest workflow for tracking defects if you don't want to customize or add a new workflow. If this workflow doesn't solve the, um, the software development or software defect lifecycle that you're looking for in, in your particular project, you might need to contact the Jira administrator and request um, them to add a new workflow with the statuses that you want and the transitions that you want in that particular defect workflow. But as part of, you know, like this, this uh, tutorial, this Jira simplified workflow is good enough to track the defect. So as soon as you log the defect, it comes to the open state. Once the de once develop once it's assigned to the developer, he starts working on it. Then he can move that defect to in progress. Once he's done with the resolution and feels that the defect has been solved and resolved, he can move that to the resolved state. Okay. Once it comes to the resolved state and is assigned to the QA person to verify that particular defect. The tester will verify that if he feels all the issue have been fixed and there are no more concerns, he can close the issue. Or if he figures out that there are still some issues and the defect hasn't been fixed correctly, then he can reopen the particular issue. Once it is reopened, it needs to be assigned back to the developer and he can again start analyzing and working on the issue and move the issue to in progress. So this this workflow, Jira simplified workflow is pretty close to what a defect life cycle is, but there might be scenarios wherein you need more statuses for the defect workflow. So in those sort of scenarios, it's best to customize this particular workflow or add a new workflow for your defect management in Jira. So that's pretty much about uh, the defect lifecycle in Jira. In next tutorial, we'll, search, we'll see how you can search bulk defects in Jira and do bulk changes to that. Thank you.